everyone, this is Laura. I'm going to show you how to make this paper barn. It's a great size for playing with model horses, My Little Pony, Lobo's Pet Shop, or even paper animals that you make yourself. <laughs> to make a barn, you'll need something to color or paint with, scissors, a glue stick, and six sheets of paper cardstock. If you have an X-Acto knife that an adult can use, that would also be helpful. I'm making a barn using a template that you can purchase for a small fee from my Etsy shop called Fanfaron. If you don't want to purchase a template, that's fine. You can draw out your own barn pieces. I printed my template on red cardstock. Make your barn any color that you like. Either print it on color paper or print it on white paper and then color it. Are you ready to build a barn? Let's get started. The first step in making your barn is to color it. I'm coloring all of the X's on the barn white so it can kind of look like an older traditional barn. But you could do whatever you like. This spot up here could be a hayloft and since yellow wouldn't show up very well on top of my red, I just cut a rectangle out of white paper and drew some hay and a pitchfork on there and I can glue that. Or you could write a name for your barn right in there. Let me show you a couple of the other parts of the barn. This is the side of the barn. As you can see, I made a chicken, cut it out and glued it on there, and I'm going to do that with this one as well. These are going to be kind of like shutters that will open so you could see any animals inside the barn. And let me show you the other side. On this side of the barn, there's a door for people to enter and some windows. You could draw animals looking out of the windows, or if you wanted to, you could put pigs or goats, draw them right here on the outside so they look like they're hanging out near the barn. Um, be creative. Draw whatever you'd like to draw. <coughs> Cut out the pieces to your barn by cutting on the black dashed lines. Don't cut on the gray dotted lines. That's where you'll be folding later. Make sure to cut the lines on the doors. On the front, it's going to be right up the middle and across the top. And on the side piece, it's going to be this side and across the top. You also have two pieces to cut on the roof pieces. And of course, you'll cut out the back and the other side of the barn as well. There is one last kind of tricky piece that you'll be cutting, which is these kind of shutters that are going to be coming open so you can see animals inside the barn. This is where an adult and an X-Acto knife come in handy. And you can just use this knife to cut straight along those dash lines on three sides of your shutters. It's not gonna be on that third side because that's where you're going to fold. If you do not have an X-Acto knife, you can use scissors. It's a little harder. Um, couple options. One is you can just poke the scissors in there on the line and keep cutting. Or you can kind of um, fold your paper a little bit so that you can start a cut on the line and then work the scissors in there and keep going around. So do that for all three windows. When you're ready to fold, start by folding all of the tabs on the barn backwards. And you're just folding on that dotted gray line like so. So fold these, fold your side tabs backwards, fold these tabs backwards. And then when your tabs are all folded backwards, go ahead and move to your doors and your shutters. And those you're gonna fold open. So I just kind of keep my finger fingers on that gray dotted line to help me find it. Line up these bottom edges here and then press down all the way. So you do that for the other door, do that for this door, and then these windows, same thing, just kind of 
find that dotted line with your fingers and fold it open like so. These are the two roof pieces. Folding them is going to be a little bit different. Uh, one piece has a tab which you're going to fold backwards. I already did that. You're also going to be folding backwards on the dotted lines in the middle of both roof pieces. So again, just kind of line up your edges so you know that you're doing it straight and press down all the way across. And then these bottom sections are actually going to be folded forward. So, and if you don't fold right on the line, that's okay. It will still work out. But you want to be close to it. So backwards in the middle, forwards at the bottom. It's time to assemble your barn. Start by putting glue on the tabs that are on the side pieces of the barn and then attaching those pieces to the front and the back of your barn. Be sure to press down securely so that you know all your pieces will stay together when you get it standing up. And I just line up my edges real carefully there. Just like that. on start by putting glue on four tabs on one side of the barn use the roof piece that has the tab on it that says to glue to the second roof section and you're going to start uh, pressing these tabs up against the roof piece so this uh, fold right here is going to line up with a point at the top of the barn and this just takes a little bit of patience to make sure you get those tabs pressed against the roof. Just like that. Then go ahead and add your glue here and to all four tabs so that you can press this piece of the roof on like so. Gluing this last piece of roof on is probably the trickiest part so feel free to stick your hand right in the barn doors to press that down and you can also take a little piece of tape if you'd like and go in and and put that on top of your tabs to help your roof stay in place. And then you're done, there's your barn. You can make farm animals by following the directions on my paper people video. My fence is made from popsicle sticks stuck in clothespins.